After three losses in a row, Sonny Sugar started the match on a high and Victor Majid should have put them 1-0 up after 10 minutes. Isaiah Omondi had a golden chance seven minutes later, but his powerful shot came off the upright. KCB had their first chance in the 24th minute, but Hussein Puzo lost the ball after beating the goalkeeper. Geoffrey Miner then blasted the ball into his teammate inside the box. After the break, KCB picked from where they left and Benjamin Chaka shot wide when a simple tap should have done the job. The bankers finally broke the deadlock in the 55th minute with lead scorer Clifford Alwanga hitting the target. Justin Munda was shown a straight red for a dangerous tackle and in the ensuing melee, Eugene Wasike was also sent off for punching Munda. Wasike paid for the sins of a teammate as he was not involved in the scaffold. KCB soon forgot the red card as Wasike once again scored his sixth goal of the season. Uh, we knew where to get them, where to get them uh, on counter-attack and I think it has really worked out very well for us. I allowed my players to be much conf I mean, aware of that and it happened, we lose. So I can't blame anybody. Sony Sugar coach Francis Baraza says his boys knew of KCB's strength, but they slept on the job. Only two matches will be played tomorrow. Thika United will host Germany Sugar and Congo United will take on AFC Leopards in Mombasa. Michael Kinyi for Citizen Sports.